What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another banger. It's your boy, Marcus. Y'all probably ain't seen just me in the camera talking to y'all in a minute. So I kind of got a good one for y'all. Today, I'm just about to do a little story time. It came really across my head. Like, I done lived through so much in life that, like, some stuff I really forget. I'm not gonna lie, but I done been through a lot, though. I got a lot of story times. So, like, you know, I'm gonna keep dropping the story times as they come back to me as, like, things remind me. But I was just going through my phone the other day, and then, uh, and I was posting my cars on, um, Instagram. And so I posted three of my 300s on there, but I really had four. But the fourth one never made it back home. So I'm gonna tell y'all about the time I went to go get a car, and on the way back home, it broke down on me. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. I... So my homeboy, all right, so the crazy part about this story is I was really kind of like being mischievous at the time because like, you know, I was grown making my own money, but I lived with my parents. And this is like, this is like, it's probably like three, four years ago, around that time. So, hey, and drop down below in the comments right now, smash a thumbs up like this and drop down below if y'all want to hear the story time of when I got kicked out of college. But this is shortly after I got kicked out of college. So I got kicked out of college. I came back home to Kalamazoo. My parents came to get me. So, yes, yeah, around that time. So, you know, I'm doing my thing. So it's January. So January come, worked all through January, worked all through February. And then I'm pretty sure this is around like March, the end of March, early April. I'm almost positive this, this is end of March, early April. So I was working hard. I saved up a lot of money. I was hustling, you know, I, I was getting to the bag. So I had about like 11,000 around there that I was willing to spend on a car. So if you know me, I love Chrysler 300s. Like even still to this day, I got one outside, but like, you know, I don't know, that's the car, like, I just, ever since I've been a kid, I'm like, damn, that's a smooth-ass car. It looked like a smooth-ass nigga got to drive that. Like, ever since I seen 300s from back in the day when I was a kid, it's like, I want a 300. Actually, this is around the time me and Jada, you know, we start messing around with each other. And the car was actually up in Detroit. Uh, I don't know what exact city, but it might have been, like, between Ann Arbor and Detroit. It's, like, right before you get to Detroit. I don't know what exact city, though. So, boom. So, I got the cash out. Cause I was spending cash on a car. It was like around 11,000, 10, 11,000 in that range. But I was trying to talk them down. So matter of fact, I think at this time I didn't even get the cash out yet. I seen the car beautiful. It's like dark Navy blue had the tents on it, all red seats on the insides, S seats, just like the seats I got now, but they red and with pinstripe down them. And it's got the S in the middle, and it's beautiful. I'm talking about it got navigation on a beautiful car, running smooth, all of that. So we go down. I go down with my parents first. I go down the first time with my parents. My dad is like, my dad don't get impressed easily by cars at all. So boom, we down there like, you know, the car is smooth. It's smooth. The only problem, I think it was brakes. And, and a lot of 300s, there's a front end problem, like when you're... Uh, slowing down, it's like you hear like a knocking in the front, or when you speeding up, you hear a knocking. And them is in the older generations, like that was like a 2013-14 model, and then the one I had before that, that it had that problem too. So my dad was like, you know, he wasn't really too impressed. So I'm like, all right, whatever. That next day or the day after that. My homeboy, Mark Smith, man. Shout out to my boy, Marcus Smith, man. Shout out to my boy, man. That's my dog, Marcus Smith. Man, if it wasn't for him, if he wasn't there with me, this story probably would have went completely different. So, me and my boy, I, I hit him up. I'm like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You could take me to Detroit. I think I'm gonna go down here and get this car. And I don't know why I asked him because my parents was trying to like act like they really didn't want, want me to get it. But it's my money at the end of the day. But this story goes to show that parents always know best. Boom, I got off work around like four or five. Mark met me at my house and we took off. This is when I had the cash ready. I'm ready to go. I got the blueies, all hundreds, like stack of hundreds, like these. Got it in the fanny pack. Like, yeah, I'm about to drop it off. About to get something bad. About to bring it back to the zoo. Like, I'm, I'm really feeling myself. We on the way there. We chilling, you know, we vibing, man. And then, like I said, me and Jada just started talking around this time. Big Wader, man. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to Mark and shout out to Big Wader. I ain't gonna lie. That's my baby. For real, for real. But, um, so I was just getting the car. I ain't gonna lie. I probably, like, spam myself up a little bit more because she was about to leave to go to Miami. 
I'm almost sure. Yeah, I think she was leaving to go to Miami that next day. When we was already that way, I was gonna go see her. I was gonna get the 300 and go see her. So, so I get the 300 and I don't know what happened. We went and got Wendy's, but I don't know what happened, but I didn't even end up seeing her. I think me and Marcus like smoke got back on the highway. We went and got Wendy's, smoke got back on the highway. So we get on the highway and we must have left Detroit around like 12 a.m. So we looking to be home around three. You know, it ain't nothing crazy at this point. So we get like probably like past Jackson. And like, you know, this is a Hemi. So like, you know, I'm trying to like, you know, I gotta make sure it's running for real. Like, you know, I gotta hit the ga gas pedal on that thing a little bit. So we get a little bit past Jackson and Jackson is like the halfway point from Detroit and Kalamazoo. So we over the halfway home and I, boom, I hit it. I'm hitting it. Boom, everything cool. I'm like, yeah, I'm really that thing. And I'm gonna put the picture of the car, cause this is a beautiful car. I'm gonna put it up in here. I'm feeling myself all red seats. Um, you know, you know how it is when you get your new car. Like, you know, I'm I'm big back bull and like like straight like these. Like, you know, I'm proud of myself. I hit it. And then me and Marcus racing, whatever, whatever. But he behind me because this is a hemi. Like, you know, I'm hitting it a little bit. So it must have been like a spaceable gap. And then I feel like a wind gust, like a Ooh, like I swear to God, it felt like my car went on the two wheels. Like, you know how you drive in like all four wheels? It felt like it tilted over onto the driver's side on two wheels. Like I popped two wheelies on the driver's side on that bitch and then it hit back on the ground and it just starts shaking. And I'm like, all right, but then it's still driving normal after that. So then I hit it again. I'm like, all right, maybe that's just the wind. Marcus called me. I, we get like a minute down from that big wind gust. Marcus called me. He like, bro. He like, bro, you need to pull over right now, bro. He was like, bro, your bumper almost hit my car. He was like, bro, thank God. I just, I just like, I guess he just like, the bumper came off and he must have seen it and he, he like swerved over. He said he almost got into a crash because of that shit. So I pull over on the next exit. I'm like, huh, my bumper came off. I pull over on the next exit, I kid you not. Man, and I dropped cash off to this nigga, and it wasn't no dealership. It, it's a private landlord. I found him on Facebook. So, like, you know, I didn't sign no papers, like, non-refundable, nothing like that, or it is refundable, nothing like that. So, boom, I pull over. I get out the car. I'm like, bro, what the? Like, I'm really in shock right now. I'm like, what? So, I'm like, bro, like, Bro, I don't even know what to do, bro. Like, what should I do? And then they wasn't answering. So, like, he like, bro, hit him up, bro. I'm calling them, texting them. They not answering their phone. It's 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 3 a.m., 2 a.m. in the morning. They not answering. They made the sale to us like four, five hours ago. You know, like, we was kind of chilling around Detroit. So, um, he like, bro, I'm not even finna lie to you. He was like, bro, if this is me, he was like, he was like, bro, well, first off, fuck even being me. He was like, bro, I know your parents, bro. He was like, bro, you're not going to bring that car home, park it in your parents' driveway, and you don't have no bumper on it, bro. And you just paid 10000 11000 for this car, bro. And I'm like, you know what? Like, that's true shit. He was like, bro, I'm not going to lie, bro. Fuck they not answering. Fuck all of that. He was like, bro, we finna go back to Detroit. We finna get your money back, bro. He was like, bro, you don't have, you, you, you pay full price for this car and you don't have a bumper, bro. You're not finna go take that car all the way back to Kalamazoo. And you paid all that money for it and park it in your parents' driveway, bro. So they can look at you like you stupid. I was like, damn. I was like, damn. You right. He was like, so come on, bro. He and he straight said it just like that. He was like, bro, it don't matter if they not answering or not. We finna stay outside their house till, like, either they wake up in the morning. We finna bang on their door or whatever it must be. Nigga, Mark is real, bro. Bro, so we go up to the door, bro. We we just knocking on the door, bro. Knocking on the door. They finally come out. We explain what happened to them. What happened? Like, they asked, like, do I even have the bumper? I'm like, bro, I don't even know, bro. Like, I ain't got the bumper, bro. Like, it happened in mid-highway, bro. Like, I ain't finna pull over. So I'm thinking, like, they ain't gonna give me the money back. But they did, bro. They did, bro. And that's why I say you never know what's gonna happen until you try. So they gave me my cheese back. And Marcus is exhausted at this point, bro. Like, he drove me there halfway back to Keizu and drove us back, well, and drove back to Detroit. And then now we still gotta get all the way back home, bro. And that's another like two and a half hours, bro. 
at this point it's probably like it gotta be like around like five four it's around there three no nah, it's past three it's like four in the morning bro so he like bro i need i'm gassed bro i need to take a nap bro and i got work in the morning i think i must have called off my other job that that night but i got work in the morning uh he drives us back as we get halfway home because i ain't gonna lie bro i slept damn near the whole way home and as we get halfway home i ain't gonna lie I, I don't even know what I told my parents. I must have said we was going to hang out or we was going to the casino or something. I don't know what I must have told my parents. But now it's like 6 in the morning, 7 in the morning. So my parents blowing my phone down. And I, I just had, I like answer the phone. I'm like, I ain't gonna lie. It was a crazy night. I'm gonna tell y'all about it when I get home. Get home. I tell them the story. And they like, we just thank God that y'all okay. Like, you know, that y'all got y'all money back. Y'all traveling up and down the highway with $10,000 cash, plus cash. I ain't gonna lie, though. Shout out to my baby, Mark Smith, though. If you see this video, bro, shout out to you, bro. I ain't gonna lie, you my baby. I fuck with you for life, bro. I went to got my other 300, and y'all probably like, damn, you a dumbass. I probably went to got my other 300 after that if I didn't get my money back so after that like a couple or a week went by and i got a different 300 and it was like a year newer it was a nicer car and it, and it held me down for a minute but i ain't gonna lie that's the story time i got for y'all today of how i bought a car got halfway home and my bumper flew off but i'm gonna put the picture up in it probably in the middle around when i was telling the story i'm gonna put the picture of how it looked bro it was a beautiful car bumper just Gone, bro. Bumper gone, bro. I couldn't even believe it, bro. All of this shit that be happening to me with cars, bro, I truthfully forget because I didn't been through so much shit with cars. But shout out to my baby, Mark Smith, man. I ain't gonna lie. I would have not got my money back if it wasn't for you, bro. And shout out for you to you for taking me there, for giving me real nigga advice. That's why you should always have a real nigga in your corner because they be talking in your ear some real shit. Like, and he did right then. So shout out my baby, Mark Smith, man. And I hope y'all continue to tap in with me, man. It's 2024. You know, it's been a crazy end the 2023 for me. But, you know, I just seen a nigga say some crazy shit in this. Basically, like, on GTA, you can't do no side missions. Like, if you want one main mission, you can't do no side missions while you on, you on one mission. So, I ain't gonna lie. This year, I'm eliminating all the distractions. I thank God for putting me in the position I'm in. I thank God for y'all. And we straight tunnel vision. Like, if you got one mission... And hey, you gotta give it all you got. So, hey, I'm gonna give YouTube all I got this whole year, and we're gonna see what happens. So, I appreciate all the love and support. Y'all, my y'all, my peoples, man. I fuck with y'all. Keep running me up, like, comment, share, and comment down below if you want another story time and if you want the story time of how I got kicked out of college. So, y'all keep running me up, man. Let's let's kick off 2024 on the right foot. Love.